Happy May 4th. I'm sure you're wondering what the hell is this thumbnail, but we'll get to it. Star Wars Legends has its ups, like the Thrawn trilogy, its down, like everything in Legacy of the Force, and everything in between, like their super weapon obsession. Let's get started going through the silly one. Our first hilarious thing from Legends is the concept of Beldorian the Hut Jedi. He was the only Hut introduced into the Jedi Order, so naturally he fell to the dark side. Yes, this guy was apparently a threat to Leia that you were meant to take 100% seriously. The creature that moves as slow as a slug with stubby arms is a viable physical threat to Leia. I guess if you needed a hut-based Jedi, you would have had them be very powerful in the Force, rather than try to manage this size and shape in a duel and try to take it seriously. Come on. Nope, he engages Leia in a saber duel. If you want to know how this slug dies, Leia kills him by bisection. He was so bad that George Lucas said, no more hut force users. Oh, I think I occupied you guys enough. Our next stupid thing is Laser Eyes Leia. Okay, it's not really Leia, it's actually a life model decoy. Let me explain. In wake of the Emperor's death, one Imperial warlord named Trioculus wanted to name himself heir to the Emperor, because the Emperor had a son with three eyes. He was obsessed with Princess Leia and wanted her hand in marriage because this book was seemingly made for drunk five-year-olds. No, seriously, if you read the Wikipedia page, you won't know anything about it. The sound effects were written on the page as if it were a comic. And in case you're wondering what Imperial warlords read at weddings, well, here's what they read. There is an Imperial Code dedicated to how weddings are managed because I guess Palpatine wanted weddings standardized. It's also the most mustache twirling incel nonsense ever. I mean, just look at this. By Imperial law, when the Emperor takes a wife, she becomes his property, obliged to obey his every word and bow down before him whenever he wishes a show of obedience. Incel energy is through the roof. The insanity doesn't stop there. The first book of the Jedi Prince series has an environmental PSA about saving sentient whales, I'm sorry, whale dons on dock. I could make an entire video about how the Jedi Prince series is in and of itself hilariously bad, but I need to continue this video first. If you wanted to know what happened to Jar Jar's dad, George R. Binks, he attempted to off himself because his son was too stupid. Though admittedly, this could be loose canon to Legends itself, because Wikipedia refuses to make any judgments on whether it's canon or not because there's so much ambiguity. Okay. The next one is... The Crystal Star. This is a major antagonist, Waru. The Crystal Star deals with bizarro alternate universes, centaurs, werewolves, and it gets weird by Legends standards. The next silly thing is Luke with two U's. It's a choice so infamous that it was subject to an April Fool's joke, because of course we needed a convoluted explanation as to what happened to the hand and lightsaber after Empire Strikes Back. Next up is the Epicanthix species. What's so different about them and a baseline human? Well, apparently they're an offshoot of humanity. Oh, and in case you're wondering how to spell Epicanthix, Here's how it's spelled. Notice how it's only one letter off from Epicanthic, as in the Epicanthic Fold. The Epicanthic Fold is what gives East Asians our rather unique eye shape. Yes, the race with slightly longer faces, I'm surprised that flat faces wasn't a descriptor given that's the Asian stereotype, and mental powers that help them resist the Force are basically just space East Asians. Okay, if this proves anything at all, it's that Legends had its ups, its downs, and its absolute stupid moments, and that not all of it deserves to be romanticized, but hey, you can have fun laughing at some of these moments, or all of them, or rolling your eyes. But are there any silly moments, characters, things, and legends that I missed? Please leave them down in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.